All right, everyone, let's get it. Mental Health Monday. Let me post a topic in the comments. All right, everyone, we're talking about like social media detoxing, you know, um, giving yourself that break from social media is needed. Hmm. It's not working. Except. Hey. How's everything? Hello. Everything. Everything is great. Everything is great. Good Monday. Good Monday. Clean bill of health. You know, could, could went to the doctor this morning. You know, part of the mental health, physical health. Do my yeah. exam. Now. Exactly. Got my yearly exam done. Following up. Oh, I gotta do that actually. I gotta do that very very important extremely important because if you can see my shirt can't stay blessed if we're not doing the stuff that we need to do I like that. Time, you know so those are key things that i'm working on that i well i've always been keen about you guys when it comes to your physicals so key things you know gotta follow up on some stuff but it's okay because the sooner you know the better you are able to address very true very true and I, I i've been thinking about that too of course you know the like it's a new year right we're only what like five months in yeah going on six <laughs> oh, hey time be fine yeah but um yeah we're, we're six months in damn near and uh yeah making sure that you can like, like get that yearly checkup whether it's physical mental yeah. financial emotional yeah. you know what i mean get that checked you're six months into we're about to be six months into you know the first half of the year and we just gotta get on top of things like you said like i said the sooner you know the better you are able to manage it um get a hold of it not to let it get you know too far out of control yeah. um if you got if you could afford being on medication if you can do some holistic herbal stuff whatever it is you know mm -hmm. so please it's very very important i actually was uh, um it's actually kind of like delves into the topic that we were talking about the whole like you no know, self-check and everything and um <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like honestly like it like for me it's more about the balance when it comes to like the proper uh, mental health and everything the mental well-being and um finding a balance whether you know it's, it's physical mental whether it's everything. financial like like financial stability or having um a higher emotional capacity whatever it is you know what I mean? like like finding that balance right so social media detoxing law. um before we get into like just the detoxing in general and why we should detox the negative effects of social media I wanted to ask you, like, what's your viewpoint on, like, uh, a, an improved mental health or mental well-being? An improved mental well-being, and, and if I'm thinking along the context of what you're trying to say is, of course, it's just acknowledging where you're falling short, what's going on, what, what's your, what's, um, what, what is within your environment that's contributing to whatever imbalance, or your imbalance of hormones, your imbalance of your mental health, your emotions, your physical being, you're a little bit more sluggish and more tired, um, your lack of sleep, um, lack of attention, being able to, not being able to focus. What is going on? What has changed in your environment? What has exited or entered your environment your aura your center um for, for me it's just all of those things because if you lack sleep if you lack energy it's obviously because you're thrown off by whatever it is that is going on in your world um whether it's vitamin deficiency and you know all that can be um encouraged by anxiety um exacerbated exacerbated by anxiety depression um other mental health issues um postpartum for some of our women um pre you know uh, eclampsia all those things that we have to hormonal balances we're getting older um age all of that stuff it plays a role in it so for me finding and understanding what has changed what is going on with you and then being able to identify it and then implementing whatever change that needs to be detoxing, whether it needs to be social media or detoxing physically, um, drinking lots of water, going through certain regimens, um, you know, trying the holistic route and herbal route first before having to go taking, you know, medication, prescribed medications. Yeah. 
meditating. Sleep is a huge piece of it. I can't stress enough getting, and I always tell you this, Justice, getting your eight hours of sleep, getting, you know, getting enough sleep throughout the day, whatever your body may need to balance it out, to have it function well enough where you're not, you're not cutting it short. Then you're finding yourself being, your mind just constantly racing. Um, even when you think you're sleeping, you're not. So for me, it's just honestly understanding your body, being in tune with your body, um, listening to your body, and then uh, addressing whatever the issue is with whatever providers you need to address it. Mm, okay. So honestly, what I would say in terms of like for me, when it comes to, for mental health or well, a, a well-balanced mental health, of course, I would say... Or, 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 or not even just like, I'll say improved mental health. For me, it's a balance, right? Um, and balance is very subjective to, to different groups of people, different people in general, right? So, of course, like, for me, a proper mental well-being would be, like, you know, working out, eating the right food, sleeping on time, making sure I have enough money in the bank, and making sure I'm emotionally understand, understanding, like, uh, what's the word for it? Um, empathetic. <laughs> Emotionally connected. Connected, boom, right? Um, just like finding a balance, because for me, working out more is it, it it pushes me towards my goal compared to the next person where they may not have to work out as much. Or, for example, me being comfortable where I am financially, someone else may not be. You know what I mean? So it's very subjective. But for me, finding a balance in your whole your whole life basically like, encompasses your whole life. You know. So now you might need to do it bit by bit because it's not, you know, you're not going to have control over everything and yeah. you need to understand that. So you might take it in, in strides, you know, take it in strides. Let me work towards this. Let me work towards this. But you know what? I know my health and my mental health is more important. So I got to target that first so that everything else could fall in line. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's almost like I, I almost get like I had like the analogy of like a boat with multiple holes in it and you plug one in. OK, my family is good. OK, boom, my social life and boom, work. And then it's like it's, it's constantly spewing and oh, I, 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 make sure I'll work out. And but you sure that, you know, with, with the with the boat and you're constantly having to do this and plug things are plugging because the pressure, pressure bus pipes. We all know yeah. that pressure bus pipes. So with the pressure and things kind of the holes are being unplugged. You got to teach these individuals around you as well. Hey, mm -hmm. I've plugged this, um, but you, I need you to do the extra work too because we overwhelm ourselves. Um, and we sometimes need to, need to detox from people, um, which is okay to do. Because if I keep plugging, plugging, I'm the only one plugging the relationships, how to keep the relationship, the bond strong or connected, then it's not healthy. It's not helpful to me. Yeah. So. I, it has to be that balance of help me because if, it, if it's a one-way street, then it's not conducive to what I got going on. All right, so we spoke about the mental health well-being. Like, I mean, for me, it's balance. For you, it's kind of like acknowledging different aspects in your life. Yep. Yeah. So I want to like kind of delve deeper into the topic. Now, what are some negative effects? And we all know this, of course. So social media is just full of them. But what are some negative effects of social media? And I would say the huge piece for me, I know because I've, I've been guilty of it, getting up first thing in the morning, the first thing you, you grab is your phone to go on social media to see what what, what what did you miss within the last eight, seven to eight hours of your sleep? You know, mm -hmm. that's the first thing we get on. Who posted this? And the fear, who, the fear of missing out. The fear yeah, the fear. Yeah. Just wanted to know the gossip or mm -hmm. the newest information. And I say for me, it's just, it's, um, it has in the past decreased my attention. Mm -hmm. um, taking away my focus because I've been focusing more on social media than what I need to be focusing on. Um, I mean, granted, we are using social media to also boost platforms and brands, and our businesses. But again, it's the balance. When you're using it more for entertainment than it is for you to actually promote yourself and grow in your business, then there's, there's a problem there. Um, you know, there has to be a balance. You, one thing that I've done on my phone when it comes to that, I have so I have put on this social this um this uh, timer, which tells me when I have had too much, um, oh, yeah, social, yeah. you know, yeah. too much social media time or whatever it is. I set this timer. Um, 
And then I know, okay, now we're just going to tone it down a little bit. Put the phone yeah. down. Go walk. If I'm just listening to music or using the phone and just listen to music while I walk or exercise. Um, I'll, you know, turn on the TV and watch, watch a movie or something. You know, anything outside of the social media realm. Um, I've also... Um, in the past, and I think I mentioned this on our past lives, I've also deactivated um, social media. Multiple times. I'm multiple like, yeah. times. Um, just because of whatever I got going on. And again, it's taking my attention. It's taking my, you know, um, it's taking, it's giving, I'm giving it too much energy. And I'm not focusing mm -hmm. on what I focus on, which is my yeah. priority, my, the health, and my well-being. So, 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 I like that. I like that. So, you... Okay, so one thing I did notice a lot, you mentioned a lot of other, like, other people and how other people can affect you. And something how Mar Mario mentioned as well, he said um, unnecessary competition with strangers and celebrities. And that's, that, and, and that's, uh, that's something that I did, I did really want to touch on too is because we want to keep up with the Joneses. And we've mentioned that in the past, trying to keep up with the Joneses, trying to keep up with social media and what this person got going on, how this person's body is looking um what vacation this person is what house this person bought it's trying to keep on in the comparison the comparison um which brings on increases anxiety depression body dysmorphia um sometimes and i'm going to bring this up when it comes to the mass shootings and people being anxious about going to certain places crowded places movies dinner it, it brings uh, you know the uh, 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 agoraphobia it brings all kinds of like phobias um, and I will say this though as well. I'm, I'm gonna cut you off, or you're trying to talk more with one thing though. As well as sometimes there's a little sprinkle of propaganda in there. Like, I, 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 I'm not gonna throw that in there. 100%. Whether or not it is, again, because we are on social media and we're seeing it, our body is feeding into it. Our minds are feeding into it because we can't unsee what we have already been told. The minute you get on social media, that's the first thing you see, or you turn on the news, that's the first thing you see. You're not able to unsee it. So therefore, limit seeing it. Limit getting on social media and, um, um, you know, um, see these things. I have a good friend of mine, very good friend of mine. And what she does is she only uses social media and she has, she's over the years, has great balance and control where she only uses it where she goes on positive um, pages. She goes on sites that are just, you know, um, she's spiritual. She goes on sites for spiritual connection and encouragement. She goes on these positive sites of uplifting sites. She Education. Does, she's yeah. right. Motivation. She doesn't look at anything negative. And again, that's control. You're able to do that. But some of us, we would, you know, the mind is like, well, wait, wait, what did I just see? Now, again, you can't unsee what you just scroll past or you're trying to go back to it, which it's, doesn't. It's almost living rent free in your head, regardless it, whether you want to be. Yeah. 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 So that's why, you know, and then there's there's the issue of cyberbullying and harassment, which, you know, a lot of people have had on social yeah. media. Um, some people and children in the past have committed suicide um, because they've been either bullied in school and it, it takes, it goes on to social media again. And, so, and sometimes too, like how you mentioned the the body dysmorphia, like you're noticing all these, and people filter their, people edit and filter and this and that. And some people do have good, good genes. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, but some people do have good genes and, and of course do not compare. I have my notes right here too. Right. Uh, do not compare. You know what I mean? And, and that comparison is a thief of joy and slippery slope, you know? And I totally agree with that. So we got to be mindful of, you know, especially when, when those who have children, monitor what your children are watching on social media and how they respond, uh, monitor what, how they're re being responsive to that in the home when they start to, you know, wear certain clothing or put on certain clothing, whatever it is. You just monitor those things even as adults because we change some of our behaviors change because we've seen again subconsciously we're comparing ourselves and now we want to do certain things that we haven't done in the past or think of certain things that wasn't even a thought in the past so you want to be very mindful of those things um and another you know, another key point is it uh, and, I, and i touched on that earlier is sleep deprivation sleep disruption because we're so keen on social media. Oh my God, let me get up on, or, or, or late night if you can't sleep, instead of digressing, meditating, um, reading, something else, listening to some you know, white noises or whatever, we wanna get on social media. And now we're forcing our minds to focus on social media. So now, by the time you notice, 
It's been three, four hours later. You're like, oh my God, it's two in the morning. Oh my God, it's one in the morning. I gotta be up by six. I gotta be up by five. Again, we have to monitor. And a, a good way that I do it is I set my phone to go to sleep at 9 30, 10 o'clock. Once it does that, I have taught myself turn off the phone. Turn it off. Okay. But okay, so we spoke about the negatives, all right? And of course I, I, I like to be well balanced and all aspects of life. So what about the negative? What about the positives of, of course, detoxing from social media? And what are some ways you can still connect with you? Like, my thing is, I feel like if you're not on social media, you're ill-informed. But when you're on social media, you're misinformed. You know what I mean? So what are some ways you can still connect with other people, get our information? Um, we don't get that fear of missing out on just necessary information. You know what I mean? That's the case. Then watch the news. Go to, set on the 630 news or if you want to be that informed because of course social media what comes with social media and this is why i kind of just like watching the news as opposed to um going to social media because yeah. then you're then you're encouraged you, you you're pressured into reading people's comments um, mm, the comments are terrible the, the comments is the worst part sometimes oh, man. you do with the topic at hand um so that's why I say just watch the news. The news is going to inform you. You're not going to be talking back to anybody. <laughs> the news is going to inform you what's going on, and that's it. Yeah. So what about uh, connections with people? Connections with people, I would definitely say, again, know your surroundings, know your relationships and your friendships. Um, you know, I am big on, like, last weekend, I'm big on meeting up. Let's do brunch. Let's do lunch. Let's do dinner. Let's catch a movie. Let's go play golf. Let's roller skate. Let's step outside of the house, which, you know, is not good for your mental health, always being in the bed, in the house, cooped up. Let's get some vitamin D in our system um, naturally. Let's go hiking. Let's do something. And it may not be every weekend, please. I know like life is life and this bills be billing on a, on, on a regular cycle. So, um, it's just comments and yeah uh, watch the news too it's a little less propaganda i totally agree the totally. world news you said world news right yeah watch the world news I, I'll, I'll check it out totally agree with you um so i would say back to that like just get outside the house get outside meet up with people um go do something different outside of your environment um you know if you got a group of friends hey each one of us picks something once a month to go do we're gonna just do something that somebody else like. It may not be something you like, but you may not have never done it, so you won't know if you don't like it. So step outside the box. Let's do something different. Um, it's it's, it's kind of like bringing it back to the old school, where it's like just go outside. Go out we have like you, could, like, like you could text people, you can call people, get FaceTime nowadays. I don't even think social media. Like honestly, I'm getting a little bit tired of social media. Um, I'm just using it more so for the business aspect and the research and educational, motivational, all the good stuff. Because there's there's definitely a positive spectrum to social media. Right. You know what I mean? But every now and then you just scroll and it's just like, like you said, I can never take this time back. Now this piece of unnecessary information occupies my brain. Like what are they, they you know what I mean? So, and then, um, it occupies your brain. Then you want to go have like negative conversations about it to the next person. And then, then, just, then the cycle continues. So it's like, if you don't, if you limit yourself, then you will have less negative things to harbor in your, in your spirit. Yeah. And transfer over as well because that person you know you're like oh my god let me start tell you what i just saw on social media and that person's like damn i didn't even see it or that person's like oh i did see it so then now now we're two negative people going back and forth yeah. you know um you know, kind of like the uh the blue for the blue face and christian rock diddy situation yeah. drake and kendrick it's, it's almost like distraction 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 this is like oh come on now you know what i mean yeah um yeah and i and, and that's why i said like and I love what you just said. Let's take it back to, you know, um, come back oh, in when, when the light post comes. <laughs> come back in the house yeah. when the light when the light or like take it outside. Yeah. Take it outside. There's so many different establishments that have been created and built. Um, sip and paint. Go do something that doesn't require you holding on to this phone, you know, every five seconds. And of course, it will establish a, a, a deeper, meaningful, a meaningful connection. It's almost, it's, it's, it's there in front of you. You're talking to the person. It's none of that. Oh, I'm Facetiming. I'm sending you these videos. We're both laughing at the same video. No, let's go outside and go laugh at some real life situations. Let's have those inside jokes that we can. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah.
And in the meantime, while you're doing that, you're exercising. So you're really killing two birds with one stone because like exercising, you're moving, you're getting sunlight, you're just, you know, your face is being able to express things as opposed to being on social media or on FaceTime. Like you're able to do more than one thing when you're taking yourself out. And of course, too, like you couldn't meet people in the gym. I'm not a big fan of that. Of course, I like to just focus on myself. I know yeah. Mario is very similar. Like, don't talk to me. Let me get my workout in. But you know, it's it's still it's, it's still a part of a community in a sense. You know what I mean? It is because you're seeing the same people all the time. For those who go to the gym, you're seeing these people, and you're kind of like, hey, I've been watching you. I like the way that that. Or can you face, show face, me? Face. I, I, it's a conversation, and that's all it mm -hmm. takes is to strike up a conversation. What's that, Mom? All right, I like that. We definitely, um, I feel like we solidified the, the negatives. We solidified, um, what are some ways you could still, I guess, because, like, mind you, like, there's benefits to social media, how we mentioned, right? But you can get those benefits in other aspects. You know what I mean? There's alternatives to that. Um, I don't need to be looking at these, these videos that are not even, that are occupying space in my brain that's not pushing me forward. And it's funny, cool, but then it's like, all right, what's next? What's um, next? And, and the comments are, are negative. The comments, some some posts are negative, very judgment, ju judgmental, opinionated, biased. And it, it goes on and on. And of course, you can't forget the little sprinkle of propaganda. Yeah. yeah. Very And, you know, and depending on what you got going on in your time in your life, it just exacerbates it. It just makes, magnifies it. So yeah. try to limit that so that you're not, doing, it's not it's much more harm than actually good of you working towards a better growth for yourself. I appreciate that, Mom. Now this actually, like, I, I have to kind of, um, I have to, uh, it, like, the notes in the comment section is going to be a lot, because we actually went through a lot. And, of course, like, there's step-by-step -step situations to where it's like, you don't have to do it this way, but here's some alternatives, yeah. things you can do. You know what I mean? I like that. Nick, Ma. And that's when I... No, I'm all good. All good. That was good. That was good. I like that. I like that. Um, all I'll say is that everyone likes them are not alone. You know, any questions, concerns... Just almost like, like oh, we want to listen to the ear, you know what I mean? DM me and my mom, we're always here. Um, yeah. It's not it's not just about doing the lives, you know what I mean? Like every now and then I get messages from people who I love having conversations with and we can kind of move forward from a conversation or learn from each other. Um, yeah, like we're not alone. Let's 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 communicate. Let's build a deeper community. Let's, yeah. and, yes. Give us some topics and let's get up and we'll have these conversations. That's what I'm talking about. All right, mom. Right. I'm going to get on here. Um, thank you for giving me that value. Every Monday, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to put, of course, in the story, you know, like have a little form or a little comment section where people can kind of give their ideas or their topics of, of choice, right? Um, yeah. Oh, uh, same time next Monday. Guys, yep. See you guys next week. Have a All good right. one. Later, Bye. Bye.